We have people putting timelines out now for when, you know, it'll be normal for people again, when their step will be in line. You know, we have uh, President-elect Biden talking about a 100 days that we have to all wear masks, which, you know, you hear that, and a lot of people in the American public are gonna think on day 101, as long as we wear those masks, we'll be okay. Uh, if we've got two companies and only two companies that are putting out large numbers right now of, of what we hope are gonna be these, these vaccines for everybody, but it's never been done before, and a lot of things have to go right, shouldn't we be a lot more cautious in terms of uh, the timeline we're looking at in 2021? I agree with you that, that we're not within three months of kind of taking a deep breath and saying, okay, uh, we, we're, we're moving on. And that is, this is going to be a, an issue around us for many more months than that. But that does not mean that we will be embattled the way we are. We will be as scared as we are, as worried that every, every slight gathering is going to cause yet another gigantic spread. I do think that the combination of discipline, distancing, masks, all the things we've been hearing about, but now adhere to, coupled with an increasing and smart deployment of the vaccine to the right set of people so that we protect the vulnerable and those we need to support the vulnerable. I think all of that will, will conspire together to, to get us to a better place, but I don't see that through at least the middle of next year. So I think we're gonna live with a pandemic for much of 2021, but I don't think it's a binary thing. We have a pandemic and everything's awful, or the pandemic's gone, therefore everything is great again. If we're looking at when we think that, uh, you know, most Americans can actually get vaccinated, and I, I understand there are uptake issues, but in terms of production and distribution, is the level of uncertainty around that th a three-month period, a six-month period? Is it potentially a one-year period? What, what do you think we're thinking about? I think that there's a, based on everything that we've seen so far, I think that there's a reasonable expectation that come the second quarter of next year, so spring of next year, there will yep. be adequate supplies to vaccinate certainly in excess of 100 million people. And that does not rely on any kind of additional ma major new vaccines. If, if there's some new vaccines that come along, that's even better. But I would say that, that there is a path to that, but there are risks along the way, and that's what we need to keep in mind, as you're saying.